Hello everyone and welcome to the Turbo Discovery Championship, Episode 7, the finale. Before we get this all started, I just want to say that I thought over multiple days on how this race was going to go and how I was going to score it and all of that jazz. With lots of practicing and testing, I came to the conclusion that the AI are not very smart. I tried setting up the AI in a few different ways and pretty much no matter what, they just are not the greatest drivers. And then I started thinking about canceling the race and then it also hit me like what if the cars that can make it to the finish line are able to do so just because they're so well designed that even the AI can handle driving them. And I don't know if that's true or if it's just more like a game of chance, maybe it's a mix, I don't know. And so with all things considered, I was thinking about canceling the race, but I've decided not to do that. I decided that at the end of the day, this competition is obviously just for fun. Obviously, there's no prizes involved or anything. So I, I think I, it's best if we just continue with the original format that I figured out and we go through with the AI race and we just have some fun with it. Some things to note before we get the race going. Number one, I'm sorry that my game looks like crap, but this is pretty much what I had to do to get my game to run at 30 FPS still. Number two, because I used the multi-car spawner, the car's colors are a little off. I don't know why some cars actually took the color I told them to take and then like 80% of them just stayed white. I'm not sure why. Lastly, although it's probably a given, I'm the only cameraman here, so I'm going to try my best to get good camera angles and get good views of the whole race, but uh... Towards the end, the last two minutes or so, I'm going to have to go and sit at the finish line and watch who gets what position at the end of the race. Oh, and one more thing. This is a track and street race hybrid. There's going to be three laps on the track, and then at the end of those three laps, the cars will exit off the track, go into the city, and then go up and down the city for a moment, and then eventually they will reach the finish line. Alright, now that we're through all that, let's start the carnage. I'd also love to uh, be a good announcer and make comments on every car, but honestly, I, uh, I'm not very good with names, so I don't know the car's name still very well. And into the wall. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm still into the wall. It's so drivable, though. Maybe not.
that seems like a pretty common accident. the wall of death. For whatever reason, it seems like there's like just always like six or seven cars that can do the track really well. And again, I don't know if that's by coincidence or just by the fact that they're like really well drivable cars. I think these ones are about to be finished with uh, the third lap. No, still got another one. Oh, bummer. Come on. You got it. There you go. Oh, man. That does not look pretty. The destruction is real here at the final race. How did you even get down here? Huh? Nope, still not going here. How in the world is the Melvin Lone Star so far ahead? I have a feeling that this is probably in first at the moment. Either that or that car up ahead. Or cars, I should say. Come on, is it time to leave the track yet? Oh, oh, it sure is. Let's see if I can find their point of view. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, that was it. So the finish line is right here. Right at that white line.
And the winner is... I don't know the name of that car! <laughs> Wow, my car actually made it, even though it looks absolutely wrecked. Well, I think I'm going to sit here for about two minutes and wait for cars to come. And then after that, if any cars didn't make it, they'll just get uh, disqualified. Oh man. How the hell did that make it to the finish line? Alright, so the race is over. I'm yet to go figure out who got what place yet. Before I even go do that, I just want to thank all you guys for being a part of this championship. And I do want to congratulate the TS-180, the Betos V8, and the Altair TI-5 for taking the top three positions before the race. I know the AI race was a bit of an imperfect idea, so even if you guys lose those positions, still be proud and all that stuff. But since I did decide to stick to the AI race format, let's go figure out who the real final winners are. Alright guys, the results are in. Our first place winner is the TS-180. By getting 7th in the final race, that took it all the way up to 251 points. Second place was taken by the Altair TI-5. Taking 5th place in the race got it up to 248 points. And in 3rd we have the Betos V8 which took 9th in the last race and got it up to 245 points. Congratulations to you 3 for creating the best turbo production cars. And for those who would like to see it, here's our final score sheet. Thank you to the contestants and the viewers for being a part of this. It was a lot more work than I expected, but it was definitely fun. I do have plans for another championship soon, but the new automation update coming out has put a bit of a roadblock in front of that. The next one will be a very fun lawnmower racing challenge. I can only hope that sounds as amazing to you guys as it does to me. But sadly, we're going to have to wait on that because the new update's going to make all of the mods quit working and have to get updated. And we don't even know if the lawnmower bodies are going to get updated anytime soon. So it's, uh, well, we'll just have to wait and see. But of course, whenever it does happen, you'll find a post on Reddit about it. And you'll also see me post about it in Guffy's Automation World Discord server. Alright, one last time. Congratulations to our winners. Thank you everyone for joining. And I will see you guys in the next one.